I've lived a full life, been madly in love. I've had my heart broken. I've fought in wars and seen more than my fair share of death. In my long life, I've experienced many ends, but only one beginning. I still feel love, pleasure, pain. My life is just like yours, except for one small difference. It never ends. All I know for certain is that the pain is real. It's just the dying part that's not. There is a whole litany of things we can do to keep death at bay. Exercise, eat well, put on sunscreen. And though you might try to bargain with death, bear no delusions. It will find you. So if you spend all your time hiding from death, or in my case, searching for it, I guess the question is, were you ever really alive? Just imagine all the things you could do with eternity. See the world. Speak countless languages. In fact, there's almost nothing in this life I haven't done. Except leave it. Unfortunately, that's not the case for those around me. Try watching as the people you love most in the world go off to another. Only then would you know what I do. That eternity is not really a blessing, but a curse. As sad and dreadful as death may be, it forces us to cherish every moment. Because the truth is, life is precious because it's finite. When you are immortal, you have to be reminded of beauty. Days stretch into years, stretch into centuries. Time can lose its meaning. So however long you live, even though that might prove a very, very long time, you must tell yourself to live every day, every hour, as if it could be your last. I've seen a lot of death, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, but I've also seen a lot of life. A lot of beauty, a lot of wonder. It's not the number of years we live that matters. Our lives just add up to a series of moments. We never know when or where they'll happen, but they stick with us, marking our souls forever. The problem with living for 200 years isn't the loneliness or the pain or the loss. Okay, sure, it is those things, but what really gets you is when life ceases to surprise you. I've spent my entire life studying the human body, and I can say with scientific certainty that what keeps us alive more important than blood or oxygen, or even love, is hope.